from all around your lawn. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. We're the best. Good morning and welcome to the GDFL Netball Show for Round 17. Joining me on the panel today, I have Amanda Grant from Bell Post Hill Netball Club. Welcome, Amanda. Good morning, Faye. And a big congratulations to you, Amanda, for last weekend. Thank you. 150 oh, games. Nice. That's a fan fantastic effort. <laughs> Feeling every 150. <laughs> Especially after <laughs> Well done. And Donna Francesi from the Anarchy Netball Club. Welcome, Donna. Well, hi, hi. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Coming down to the end of the season, and I'm sure everybody is feeling it. Absolutely. I've also got a big congratulations to one of the West girls, um, one of our under-17s players, Rachelle Craven. She played 100 games. She's been playing with, at our club since um, she was eight years old, and that's a great effort, and who knows what she's going to go on with record-wise and things. So just wanted to get well that done. out there for us. Well done. Very Well done. I'm going to have a look through the results from the weekend, from uh, last weekend, round 16. Uh, firstly, it was my game, Inverley 48 defeated Geelong West 31. Go I, think I can Go have a chat it. about yeah. that one. Firstly, I just want to say a big thank you to Inverley yeah. Netball Club. Um, they all wore black armbands and had a minute silence for one of our football players who passed away overseas oh. on the weekend. Um, and all our thoughts go out to the Reddy family out there because it's absolutely devastating. Um, so thank you, Inverlee, for being part of that. Um, you, our game on the week, last weekend, uh, quarter time, we were even, nine all, um, and we we're down by four goals in, at half time. And then Inverlee just kept going. Um, we just couldn't keep up with them. The younger feet just kept going. And yeah, we, we just couldn't keep it the intensity up, but it wasn't a bad game. Um, you know, we got a lot of positive feedback on that day about how much we'd improved and how, how good our first half was. So again, that, that second half of our game sort of lacked. But usually it's, it's not our first quarter, it's our first quarter. Yeah, so I was just about to came. say that, Fiona, because you had been coming good those last couple of weeks where you'd no. been going all game. Yep. So you think that last, the last quarter sort of let you down, that yeah. second half? Um, it was probably the third quarter was our worst. Worst, yeah. Um, and we just couldn't sort of get it back from there. But, you know, look, we weren't disappointed. Last time they beat us by 40 goals. Oh, um, so that's a big improvement. Yeah, they, Great. they just... Yep. And Inverley, um should be in finals. They are a great, great little team. team. They're a young team yeah. and, you know, they're a team that are just going to go in leaps and bounds in the years to yeah. come. Best players for Inverley? Um, All of them? <laughs> 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 um, Kelsey is a great shoot. She, the way that she moves in goal attack and moves down there, um, she she really, really does an excellent job there. Their new wing attack, which is... Catherine the, Fitzgerald. She's the under-17 who's came up, come up, and she is fitting really well into the club. So, um, you know, great job there, girls. I know it's sometimes hard to get somebody to fill, fill the boots of somebody. And that's the replacement for Nicole White, as um, Cathy Mick, McHenry informed us last week. Yeah, absolutely. Very good. Uh, the next game we're going to have a look at uh, is Donna's game. Oh, East, go, go. East Geelong 55 <laughs> defeated Anarchy 18. Donna. Yes. Um, a bit disappointing, actually. We, we only had seven players to start with, which was very disappointing. We didn't have anyone on the bench. Um, and unfortunately for one of our girls, at, uh, just before half-time, did an ankle. Yeah. So it came off. So we were we had six on the court and, and until half-time we were eight down. So they didn't perform that bad. In the actual fact, it was quite a good game. Um, back and forth, back and yeah. forth. Um, unforced errors again, naturally. But I think in the end, um, we, we sort of had to have fun with it because it was just impossible to keep up with the girls. So, yeah. um, But congratulations to them. They, did it. They, they won the game and um, played really well. Yeah. And um, just just looking at the, the team sheet here, yeah. East Geelong appeared to have a full list on the weekend. Yes, they did. Uh, I think the only person that was missing was Birdie. He was down watching the Winchelsea Bell Post Hill game. Yes, we missed the excitement of that too. Uh, and, um, yeah, it looks like they're just settling in, getting ready for finals. Absolutely, yep. absolutely. Um, and the next game, probably the game of the, that we all wanted to hear about, Winchelsea 69 defeated Bell Post Hill 41. <coughs> Amanda. OK, well, this is the one that okay. I can speak about. Um, walking away from the game and watching the A-grade game, uh, I think it's going to be a big challenge for any other team within the league to, to beat Winchelsea. Yep. They were without Peter Fay. Yep. And um, yep. Kath not this week. They were both at Fury tryouts mm -hmm. on Saturday. They're just a very, very strong, balanced team. So who stepped up for them, Amanda? Like, who came in to replace them as players? OK, so we had Angela Jeffrey. I haven't seen her name on the team list um, as yet. She's obviously, she's just jumped in Woolies' car. They needed a, a replacement and she came down and played for the... 
for the for the team, it appears that they can sort of slot anyone into that team and yep. they're it balanced works. and nothing changes. They play by the same rules, the same presses, the same movement, and it seems to work well. Um, Renee Pilkington played three three quarters this week. Um, I was really impressed with Bianca Todd. Mm -hmm. um, She's a phenomenal wing attack and her drive yep, onto the yep. ring is um, very, very hard for any yep. wing defence to beat. Wing defence to beat. Yep. From a Bell Post Hill point of view, Terry threw everything that we had at them. We were mm -hmm. only um, one player down for that day and that was Casey Carroll. She was away for the weekend in Sydney. Right. And I think it was a happy birthday last weekend to you too, Case. <laughs> um, he tried everything. He moved goalers around. Kim Martin was kept to 35 goals for the game. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know... That's a huge difference in a lot of the other games that Kim has been scoring those those bigger amounts. So keeping Kim down to that, that mm. goal score, I guess, puts the pressure on whoever is playing with Kim to make mm. sure that they're shooting well. They generally do. They they generally do have a, have a good combination. Was Kim off in her shooting, Amanda, or was the defence just, like, on top of it, like, really good? And no, it was just, just, they're just so even. They're so strong everywhere, yeah. the defence, the centre yep. court. From a Bell Post Hill um, point of view, great effort from Bell Post Hill defenders. They worked tirely all day. They tried different approaches to their defence. Um, Terry threw yeah. different people in and out, trying to get the best match-ups for the day. Julia Knott, just, just too strong under the goal ring. Yeah, she yeah. was phenomenal as, as well. well. Yep. yep, so well done to Inch. Yeah. We'll wait and see in the few coming weeks mm. coming up to finals whether they can hold it together for that time. But yeah. I, I agree with you, Amanda. I and think they're just a team that are just going to go undefeated for the year. For sure. And it'll be nice, it'll be really good to see come finals, to see their qualified list, because at this stage we're still seeing a lot of names coming yeah. through the Winchelsea team. So That's it'll right. be interesting to see how many they have qualified to yeah. play finals. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Um, and the next game, Bannockburn 51 defeated Belmont Lions 32 in probably what, what we thought the result was going to be from last week. I think we knew Bannockburn was going to was going to win. Um, in actual fact, I thought they probably would have beaten them by a bit more than that. But um, Belmont Lions kept up with them, so that was that was really good progress from them. Yep. Saw in the paper that I was spot on the mark that Jess Shaw was named one of the best. So mm -hmm. well done to Jess. She played a full game in goal defence, mm -hmm. and is a love lovely defender. Yep. And, and look, these are two teams that have improved immensely over the year, um, but I think Bannockburn has stepped up that, that little bit Not further yeah. um, mm. again this year. They've got compared. a bright future ahead of them, Bannockburn, yeah, actually. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the next one in a, a big win to Werribee Central, 78, defeated North Geelong, 21. Yeah. Mm. That's a big blowout, isn't it? Mm. Score um, doesn't, yeah, score doesn't surprise me. Um, mm. North Geelong have, have tried over the last couple of years to bring their junior development through. They've still got some experienced players that have been in that team for a long period of time. So that being um, uh, Shirley Birch was on the bench, so she's still getting around Shell. But we've got Kelly Parker was on the bench as well. Sylvia Luco mm -hmm. played a full game in defence by the look of it. Oh. And I'm just looking for Sarah... Sarah Welsh also has been with the club for a long time and the likes of Tori Miller and Book Young have been working with those girls and they haven't had a, a significant amount of improvement over the period of time that they've been working together. So um, I'd say they won't play finals this year, North Geelong A grade, and we'll have a little bit of um, redevelopment to do over the off-season. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, we've still got one game to look at, but we'll come back after the break. We got the readers from all around your lawn. I'm gonna tell you how football 